All right, welcome back to the Bearded Garage. In uh, this video, we're actually gonna do a real quick one here on how to mount a Fisher V-plow. Um, I've got this question a couple of times on how to do it and how to do it right, um, and how to do it uh, as quickly as possible. Um, you can do it in just a couple of minutes. So I'm gonna walk you through it. Here we go. In order to mount the plow, uh, you see the two lines in the middle of the hood. Uh, the way I've found to do it is those two lines actually line up right in between those two lights. So you see, I'm just going to drive forward here. And you see if you guide it nice and straight, then you can watch until the plow starts to move. I can tell I'm getting close enough on it, which means I'm probably in. See the plow moved? Okay. Now we're up on the front of the truck. You can see. Uh, so this is... Uh, the truck piece is right inside the guide here. Right, so you can see it's just about lined up right there. This pin is going to slide forward. And then same with the pin on the other side. So here's what you've got to worry about. When you go to lift this yellow handle, it'll actually slide that pin in. Okay, so if it doesn't slide the pin in, you can actually push here and rock it a little bit and it jumps right in. Uh, so this one isn't in yet. We'll do a similar on this side. See that pin jumped right in. All right. So this is just about um, mounted. The only thing you have to do is the last piece is underneath here. Uh, you can see this bar. This bar right here. I'm going to go around so you can see it. Uh, this bar right here. Uh, has to be raised. That bar is actually supporting the plow when the truck isn't on it. Uh, the most common injury on a plow is actually uh, driving away before you before you pull that up. Uh, so, all right. All right, first thing I do is yank out on this. It disconnects that. Uh, it's a, just a rod that goes through. I think you can just pull up on it. Okay, so it just came back out again. Okay, so when you pull out, you can see it falls. So you want to pull out with one hand and raise that with the other. All right, so I'll try that. And then this piece, you notice I don't lock it all the way in because it, once it's done and in properly, it'll slide in and they'll hold each other in place. So this is locked in here and this is locked in here. Let me show you. All right, that is locked all the way in, which means you got nothing underneath it. That's just to sit it so it has a place to sit when the plow is on the ground. Um, in the back of the plow, these mounting places just keep these nice and clean, all right? And those mount in the two um, underneath. There should be one in here and one on the other side. And I'll just connect those, should be good to go. Once we're back in the truck, uh, the plow controls, they actually plug in right there. Um, in order to use this, it's relatively simple. You have to turn it on, all right? So you see the... Oops, see the light come on once I push it. Uh, if I push the raise, you see the plow come right up off the ground, all right? And then there's uh, a couple different modes, right? You'll see there's a scoop mode. All right, so it puts it in scoop. Uh, there's a retract, which puts it back in V. All right, um, we've got a uh, wing three is actually plowing left, I think wing four uh, brings it back so uh, yeah and then you can obviously go uh, up down um, left and right so that's how she works all right that was a super quick video here in the bearded garage today for a buddy of mine Tark. Uh, if you like this type of video uh, smash the like button hit subscribe and you'll see what's coming up next america thanks